Good afternoon, YouTube. So a little change of pace. We're out here at one of my listings in Paramus, New Jersey, which is also in Bergen County, where Edgewater is located. I'm about a 15 minute drive from Edgewater in New Jersey in a town called Paramus, beautiful Bergen County town, quick access to all the shopping in New York. And this is a brand new construction, new foundation home that I'm gonna give you a little tour of. Holding an open house today. We've had about 20 people come through so far and nobody is here at the moment. So I'm gonna to try to get this little video in to show you guys the home before more people arrive. So this home is six bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms. One bedroom is on the first floor, which you'll see in a moment, and four are upstairs. So your dining room area here, beautiful chandelier lighting, mood lighting around the top, which you'll also see in all the bedrooms. Here's your little living room guest area. Has an electric fireplace here, as you can see which actually gets very hot. It can be used for heat as well. Um, so low maintenance, being it's electric and nothing to clean up. Little nook here, which I would consider for a wet bar. And we are gonna walk over here. As you can see, everybody comes in, puts these little things on their feet to keep the floors as perfect as they are. And we are gonna walk through the kitchen area this kitchen actually has like all the air or sign-in sheet this uh, kitchen actually has two sinks as you can see it has one on the island and it has one over here the window faces the backyards of the backyard of the house from this spot right here you can kind of look around and see every area essentially of the first floor from right here which is nice so it's an open layout yet it also feels like every room is separate, which I like. It's a nice combination of openness and feeling a little bit more intimate. This is the sliding glass doors to the backyard. I'm gonna open this up. Take a little walk back here so you can see what the backyard looks like, back of the home. Kind of a little side yard. That's where your access is from the front of the house. And the backyard area, the back of the home. It's a beautiful July day here in New Jersey. If you've watched any of my previous videos, it's been so hot and humid this summer, but the humidity past few days has dropped. So it's a beautiful summer day here, gorgeous day. So this I would consider like a little guest bedroom. It can be utilized to your choosing, but I would consider this a little separate section of the house. It's almost like a little one bedroom apartment, basically a little living area, windows facing the backyard. And this is the one bedroom that is on the first floor. Right here, same thing, windows facing the backyard. And as I basically turn around here, you have a closet so it's a full bedroom, full bath. You have your closet space right here and a full bathroom, as you can see. So great color combinations. The builder did a fabulous job. I'm in love with this home. So that's the first floor. Now I am going to take you guys down to, actually before we go down there, I'm not finished with the first floor. So big closet, this can either be a coat closet or a pantry. As you can see, there's no shelves or poles or rods or anything. Uh, the builder is waiting the specs of whoever purchases the home, however they want it. The shelves will be put in accordingly. This is the half bathroom on the first floor. So on the first floor, you have the full bathroom that's in the bedroom. And this is the half bath for guests. You have a long coat closet here. 
and this room over here actually was going to be turned into a mud room being as you'll see in a second that's the garage but they left it open in case the uh, whoever purchased the purchases the home wants this to be more of a pantry or something like that so as of right now it's open and it can really be either or a mud room or a pantry we open this door right here for access to the two-car garage very spacious garage you can fit two cars in here and put shelving and and actually have space to move around the cars so i believe the width of the garage is i want to say it's like 22 feet I want to say so pretty wide two car garage right here and now we have completed the first floor of the home i'm going to take a little peek outside to see if any cars have pulled up i don't want to miss anybody coming in and so far we're good okay the store right here access to the basement let's go down the stairs and check out all the space down here so very large finished basement as you can see here we have the boiler room which has ample space you can fit an SUV in here so plenty of space for storage here is basically just a small little closet area we have another closet over here and you that you have a full bathroom down here on the um, finished basement level and to me my favorite part of the basement is the theater room as you can see as we walk in here you'll notice the blue walls the deep navy blue walls and you can actually see all the electrical work is already routed in preparation for a flat panel TV or a projector, as you can see in the corners, they're already ready for speakers. So being as you can see, this room is not gonna get a lot of natural sunlight. Um, this would be an amazing theater room with seating. So pitch black down here, when you shut the lights off at nighttime and play a movie, which is pretty awesome. So again, very large, finished basement, very clean beautiful job they did down here so that is the basement okay that's two floors we got one floor to go I'm gonna go back up to the first floor I'm gonna take another peek outside to make sure nobody's coming in and I think the ghost is clear all right let's head upstairs top floor so remember, one full bedroom on the first floor and four bedrooms are upstairs. So once we come up here, you'll see beautiful open layout here to see downstairs. They did an absolutely phenomenal job with the layout of this gorgeous home. These lights here are amazing. They can actually, this key here brings these lights all the way down. So as you can see, you can probably see there's one bulb there that needs to be changed. With that key, you can simply bring the lights all the way down to the first floor to easily change the light bulbs. First bedroom upstairs. These are the two smaller bedrooms. They're both essentially identical. They both have closets. Take you into both the bedrooms first, and then they share a second bedroom over here, very similar size closet. I think the other one's a little bit longer, same depth. And then the bathroom that basically splits the two bedrooms would be the shared bathroom for these two bedrooms on the second floor. And now we go to, actually, let's go right to the other side. So there's two bedrooms on one side, two bedrooms on the other. These are the other two bedrooms. These are the Jack and Jill. So these are the bigger bedrooms upstairs, other than the master suite, which we're about to see in a second. So this bedroom has a walk-in closet, a little bit bigger than the first two that I just showed you, Jack and Jill. So these two bedrooms have access to this bathroom right here 
the fourth bedroom upstairs. Closets right here, the walk-in closet in the other bedroom is a little bit bigger, but still a nice size closet. And then inside these two double doors, you have your washer and dryer hookup. So a ton of space in here. If for some reason, the whoever purchases the home wants the washer and dryer downstairs, they can also be put downstairs. But I would think that being everybody lives up here and all the clothes will be up here, why would you wanna take all your clothes up and downstairs? So I would think most people would be happy with it up here. And here we go, the master suite. As you can see, this is a true master suite. It's not just a master bedroom. It has the two doors, his and her sinks. Absolutely gorgeous bathroom. Very big, very spacious. And here is the walk-in closet. Very big walk-in closet, tons of space. This is the only closet in the entire home where the builder already put in shelving and all that stuff. Um, but everything is adjustable to the liking of the purchaser of this home. And here is the master bedroom. As you can see, the lighting up around the top has adjustments. I'm gonna walk you around. The bedroom overlooks the backyard of the house right here. The shape of this backyard, believe it or not, is one of one. There is no other home in Paramus that has this diamond shape. One of one, very unique. I don't know if you can see off in the distance there, that actually, and that tree and those trees over there, there's actually a tree house in there. I don't know if it picks it up on video, but that family created a really awesome tree house in that tree back there. But anyway, this is the master bedroom. Absolutely stunning, gorgeous home, beautiful lines, very clean. Color patterns are spectacular, um, absolutely beautiful home. Tons of space up here being were built up over the garage. So when you're on the first floor, when I first walked into this home, I didn't expect upstairs to be this big, but it is very large up here, a lot of living space. A lot of living space. And we're gonna go back downstairs. I'm peeking outside, nobody's here. Perfect timing. I've tried to shoot this video at least three other times in the past few hours. And every time I put the iPhone on the gimbal, a few families show up. So I wind up scratching it and coming back to it. But I think this time we're gonna get through the whole thing. So as you can see, absolutely gorgeous home here in Paramus, New Jersey which is in Bergen County, about a 15 or 20 minute drive from Edgewater. So if you wanted to go a little bit more suburbs, I've mentioned many times in my previous videos that Edgewater is the suburbs, it's Bergen County, but it actually has an urban feel to it, a lot busier area. Whereas if you wanted to do, if you wanted to go full suburbs without being super far away from the city, I think Paramus, New Jersey is a great choice. I just had a family in here that owns a home in Brooklyn and they're moving to New Jersey and they're unfamiliar with Bergen County, but they still want to be close to the city. And I said, you made a great choice stopping in here because Paramus and the taxes. Out of all the Bergen County towns, Paramus has one of the lower property taxes, which is always a plus. So actually beautiful home. We are at 66 Knollwood Road in Paramus, New Jersey at a gorgeous open house that I'm very honored to be hosting. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below. I'd love your feedback to hear what you guys think of the house, what you like, what you don't like. And if you have any questions, I can help you in any way. Feel pl please feel free to reach out anytime. I'm here to help you guys out in any way I can. Hope wherever you are in the world, you're having a beautiful day. I'm gonna go back inside, get ready for the next people to show up, and I'll talk to you guys a little later. Ciao.